So electricity is going to take every conductive path that it can to complete a loop. So if you look at a circuit, current always travels in loops, right? We got a source, we got conductors connecting to a load, but it makes a complete loop. Somewhere in between here is our panel, but from the utility pole or the transformer all the way through to like a dryer vacuum cleaner that's plugged in all the way back. It has a loop, right? So uh, there's going to be multiple paths within there. If we were to connect a bunch of wires, then we have multiple loops. So current is going to travel through this loop and it's going to travel through this one. This is a simple parallel circuit, right? Like the, almost every circuit in every house is a parallel circuit and current is traveling through all of them. When you plug a load in, you're adding a resistor or a resistance and impedance really uh, to the, the circuit. So it's multiple parallel loads that we're putting into a house. So we have multiple loops and the amount of current that flows through each one of these loops is dependent on the resistance or the impedance of that load. So it always travels in a loop, but as many paths as you give it, it's going to take all of them. And the amount of current flowing through each one is going to depend on the resistance.